All right, welcome back to our quick start at Zada. Um, so far, what we've done is we've created a workspace, we've created a database, we've created a table, we've created the beginnings of a to-do list app using Next.js, React, and TypeScript. If you've missed those videos, I can highly recommend um, going back. There's a link somewhere here maybe, or it's part of a playlist. I don't know yet, we'll see. Um, but in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how we update uh, data on Zeta. Um, as we've mentioned, we really highly encourage working with Zeta from a server uh, side environment where, where things are hidden from your users because we try not to leak API keys and, and, and we'll look at that in this in our time together here. So with that, um, this is the current state. We have a to-do list it's coming from Zeta. As you come here, there's the data is here. Um, this is here. And if I, like, if I check the first one, for example, and I come here and reload, um, that's going to be checked. So it's, it's all bound. It's all good. Um, in the previous videos, we did that. But now I want to check this and I want it to do something. Um, how can we do that? To do that, what we'll do is we'll just add an on change handler E. Um, and you know, we'll, what should we do? We should, here's what we're gonna, we're gonna fetch, but not to Zeta, cause we don't fetch Zeta from the uh, client side, from the browser, we fetch Zeta from the server side. So we're going to fetch a Next.js API route. That's like a middleware-ish that then is going to go fetch Zeta. Okay, so we'll do slash API slash, um, I don't know, like, do to do my best effort method is post um, headers we need some headers um, come on copilot oh did you see that let's do that um, and of course the body we want to send is a json string of um, which to do do we want to do exactly so it's this id that looks good we don't really need the e um, and then when this is done we'll just reload the window old school style we're building an mvp you know it's not sticking around okay um, that looks good save and now let's go back here and click it. Yeah, nothing happens because our API route doesn't exist. So let's create that. We do pages API slash do to do dot TS. Um, we will create a handler, which is a next API handler. It's an async function that gets a request and a response. And we'll have that be the default export handler. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to use the Zada client. So we'll do Zada equals new TypeScript. I'm gonna need you to wake up TypeScript. Um, things be scanning. Let's restart the TS server here. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll solve it. You know what, let's just move. Okay, so now it should, yeah, awesome. It's gonna offer me an import, exactly. And so now that we have the Zada client, we just query stuff from Zada and uh, we're return with the response. So we do need the body, so we'll say rec. We'll destructure. Um, what are we sending? We're sending the ID. So ID is in the body, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to await zada dot db dot items dot update um, the ID, and we want to say is done. Ah, we need is done as well. We need the new is done state. So we'll we'll add this to our body. Um, that looks really good, and then we'll res dot end <laughs> okay um this looks nice of course we just need to send is done here so how do we do that we'll just add is done which is the not of t is done so if it is done undo it if it's not done do it all right save um that looks like all we need so let's reload and say i want to do new turquoise Ooh, nice look at that i'm doing stuff i feel productive and then if we come here yeah it's all done so that's updating data on Zeta in a nutshell. Um, once you go through the process of code generation using the SDK, it just, you just fly. And that's what we're trying to show you here, frictionless developer experience. Um, as always, feel free to let us know what you think in the Discord. Um, and until the next one, we're gonna look at now. So now we, we've done to-dos, right? But what good is a to-do list where you have just a bunch of things that you've done? I, I kind of want to archive or delete them. Let's look at that in the next video. Until then, uh, be kind to each other. Peace.